hey guys welcome back to the channel and i'm back with another tutorial so in this one we are going to model some old prisoner cuffs or shackles so i'm not using any particular reference you can google shackles and you'll see all these images and you can use any of them for the reference i in particular am using maybe this one and uh, again few of these so you can use uh, pretty much any of them so let's go back to maya and start working so i'm going to take a pipe for the front view and uh, i'm going to rotate this then change the parameters something like this I'm going to delete half of it and also the bottom half now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the border edges maybe push this back a little bit and to this part then I'm going to fill this select paste and extrude till here now let's select this edge and I'm going to add a little bit of bevel here like this add few segments make it a little bit smoother as you can see that we have a little bit of problem here I'm going to select all these and delete and I'm going to select this edge then bevel and I'm going to select these two vertices and uh, connect same with these two select this edge and use edit edge flow to maintain this curve part and I think this looks fine and the end cones are gone as for this side we are going to just delete the half of it and then duplicate again so I'm going to just add one edge in the middle here for now now let's do one thing I'm going to select these two edges bevel and add few segments until we get this round shape and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these faces like this maybe we just need to pull this edge up like this now again select the faces press ctrl e and add a little bit of offset go to edit mesh then secularize like this i'm going to select this and just rotate it to fix the edge flow and I'm going to select both side faces and delete then select the border edges and bridge and now we got a nice shape here now I'm going to go to top view and just select the half side of where we have engons I'm going to delete this part then I'm going to use mirror in the z-axis and one more time in the y-axis so I'm going to use mirror one more time change the axis to y and I think we are good to go now we just need to bevel some hard edges so I'm going to use select similar to select 
which is on the bottom as well and bevel to add a little bit of smooth corners like this with one segment maybe we can add a little bit of thickness here by extruding these and that should do it as for this part i think we can use edit edge flow to maintain this issue same for this one and for the corners as well i'm going to select like this select similar and we can bevel these as well add one segment turn down the fraction do something like this and we are done i'm going to place this here like this create a duplicate and rotate like this and now we can create chains so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a torus rotate it pull this up Turn down the radius and the section radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edges like this then bevel and I'm going to select the vertices of half of it pull this up to make it look like a chain Now we can just select this, create a duplicate and maybe we can just repeat this step like this. Again I'm going to select these two, pull this up, place them here like this. And now you can repeat this to make a longer chain but I think I, I'll just leave this one till here. 